Carmelo, how are you? Hey, how you going? Now, I'm going to tell you, my mum, again, there's a lot of people my mum wants to meet, but you're in her top five. You're a dancer, you're good looking, and you've got a little bit of that, you know, European in you. What's going on the there? Sicilian. I oh, know, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? But how did the dream start? How did uh, the, how I did... must say, my parents put me in dancing to mm. learn how to treat a lady properly. And I guess it worked. Mm -hmm. So I've danced with the most beautiful women. You know, Kerry Ann, Lara Bingle, Kylie Gillies, Tamara Jaber. The list goes on. Well, my mum put me in dancing because she's, she actually thought that was the only way I could get a girl to like me. <laughs> Not the fact that I dance good. But can I tell you how many guys I know, like a lot of friends of mine, who are in their 30s who are going to dance class so they can pick up girls. Really? Yes, because I think girls expect a guy to dance now. Dance? evokes things, doesn't it? Yes. Evokes emotion. That's why, I mean, I yes. think the show does so well. Everyone yeah. that went, has gone through it evolves. You watch a show and you, you get addicted to seeing that person it evolve. Is. Yeah, but you have people like Bryn, Danielle Spencer, that, you know, over the 10 weeks they evolve, you see a different side. But when you're dancing, like with Carrie Ann, I spend like eight hours a day for four months, seven days a week. There's gonna, you do form that connection and you do have to let all your guard down. So how do you get married up with your partner? That's all done by the seven producers. So, okay, so they just work out the best couple? Yeah, it's looking for the psychologically. Best they look at, you know, like, first of all, the look. Yep. Body types, you know, blonde and brunette, dark. You know, so. Who would I be matched oh, up with? Head, you I'm know. Just, <laughs> one brunette. <laughs> so I think I would actually see with Pamela Anderson. There you, there you go. There you go. You in my top ten. In my top ten. I reckon Pamela and you would look pretty good well, together. Man, if you know a number, you should send her a text. Because yeah. I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. You ready for the tough questions? All right, here we go. The Asanda Fast Five. Okay, what was the first car you ever owned? Uh, Mercedes. It was my dad's. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your opinion of the best car ever made? Audi. That's my dream, yeah. Love it. Love it. Man with style says Audi. I get a tingle because I drive an Audi. Just yeah, no, to point no, that no, out. That's, well, no, no, that's, no, that's on my list. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion of the worst car ever made in wine? Uh, Alpha. That's the first time I've heard that. So expensive, Ron. Everything's electronic. Everything has to be Alpha parts. What car do you currently drive? I drive a Ford. Ooh, yeah, there you go. It's I a little stand... done up for Steve, I think. It's, oh, it's, it's not bad, cool. it's not bad. Have you got the mags? Cool. Yeah, but it's around city. I live, I live in Sydney, so you got to get in and out. You oh. can't have a big car. No, I'm not judging it. You can yeah. dance. You've danced all these guys. It's okay. Exactly. Ford F Festiva is fine. Yeah. Okay, now, what is your big, biggest fear? <sighs> my biggest fear is not making a fool of myself. I think it's like uh, not um, achieving my dreams. That's my okay. biggest fear. Okay, why well, I, I think... It's not ticking off my list. I have a list. Yeah. And it's not ticking it off. Well, you know what? I, I'm going to change my bucket list to Camelo's list now because yeah. everything you've pretty much done is on my list. Well, that's right. what I'm thinking. <laughs> You're a great bloke. I'm very Thanks. jealous of you. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming on the show.